Hello, welcome to Last Week on Game Pass. This is a show about uh, what came out last week on Game Pass and whether it's worth your hard drive space or not. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm William Doyle. I'm Nathan Combs. And let's kick it off with Undertale. Yeah, Undertale is a game that's under one gigabyte. It is pixelated retro style RPG. Um, you probably have heard of it because it was a big deal. Huge um, game. Yeah, Back huge game. Six years ago or so? Yeah, yeah, it's five or six years ago. Very silly, very funny. I never touched it because I, I guess like I didn't like the fan base, but I played it and got every achievement and everything this time, and I loved it. I actually highly recommend it. I highly recommend this game too. I played it when it released for the Switch. I was playing it again, and I just forgot how just funny it was. It's a very funny game made by one guy, Toby Fox, and uh, I think that really helps the game. Because it, it yeah. feels like a game that, I don't know, it's nuanced in a way that feels like only one person could make this game. Yeah, that's really good. I like the way you put that. Because, like, I guess the world feels correct. Because, you know, a video game could feel tonally wrong because, you know, giant teams make video games. When it's one guy, it's one vision doing the whole thing. Yeah, And I, it's it keeps it consistent. Yeah. Um, it's not your typical RPG gameplay. I want to say that it's kind of like a weird, like dodging bullets kind of deal. Like it's, a bullet hell type deal. Yeah, kinda. And it's it's really funny. So that's a recommend from both of us. It's Definitely fun. try it. And there's like a weird, like I guess, talking mechanic. There's like uh, you can talk to the enemies to like mm-hmm. spare their life. I guess. Yeah, because there's runs where you kill everybody, and then there's runs where you can not kill anyone, which I think is a fun little thing to do. Yeah, Mm -hmm. that is a highly recommend for 275 megabytes. Do it. Easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it can live on there. Play this game. It's it's well worth your time. It's not very long either. No, every achievement in about four hours. Very, very quick. All right. Next game, Empire of Sin, coming in at nine gigabytes. How'd you feel about this game, Nathan? Uh, It's... I, I had fun with it. It's um what it is is it's God, what it what is it? It's like a tycoon game mixed with XCOM. So you go through and you take businesses, you like kill people in an XCOM tactical RPG style, and then you manage your crime business and all your fronts to sell illegal items in the nineteen twenties. It is there's a lot to remember. But it's fun. I had a good time with it. I like XCOM games, so it kind of worked for me. I normally don't like XCOM games. Tried mm-hmm. playing Gears Tactics, fell off it super quick. Yeah. But this game, I don't know. The XCOM parts are very short when you do get in a fight. Short fights, uh, not very long. Mm-hmm. Uh, pretty easy. You don't have to be very tactical, I mm-hmm. guess. I don't know. It, I normally don't like Tycoon games either where you manage businesses and numbers and spreadsheets and shit. But uh, I don't know. It was fun. I was enjoying playing this game. Yeah. Um, when we were talking before the show, I like how you put it. There's mobile elements in this. It kind of, yeah. it's, it's simplified tycoon to the way where it feels like something you could play on your phone, which I like that. You need that, especially on a console experience when you yeah. don't really have a mouse or anything. It It's simplified and it yeah, works. The, the tutorial's pretty good. And the controller controls are pretty all right also. Yeah. It, yeah. It, it's, uh, I feel like people put a lot of time into making it as intuitive to controller as possible. Which is good. Yeah. yeah. So I, I think you could play it and like have a good time. Um, yeah. This I, game, I'd recommend it. This game yeah. I was just going to completely skip over. Going to turn it off like, oh, I don't, I don't like this game. Then I played the game and I was like, oh, I actually do like this game. I, so I recommend it. Recommend downloading it, even if you don't think it's a game that you'd enjoy. Yeah, yeah, same here. Our final game is Star Wars Squadrons, coming out at 25 gigabytes. It is a part of EA Play, which, you know, is now part of Game Pass. It's a flight sim game, part of the Star Wars universe. It's um, a big one. This one just came out in, like, what, November? Yeah, yeah, this is a big release. This is kind of what's cool about EA Play is like their games are only a few months old and they'll drop them on there. So, and even before this came out, you could have like you could download a 10-hour trial of this game. Mm-hmm. And look, if you use up if you used up that 10-hour trial, you'd probably have already purchased this game. Yes, right? yeah. So EA Play's trials are also very good. They give you a lot of time to play it. Yeah. So that's another thing to look out for on Game Pass, the trials, whenever they drop. 
That's but, true. But this game was fun. Kind, it's a flight simulator, I guess. Yeah. A little more arcadey. Yeah, it's similar to Star Wars arcade from back in the day. Like, it's very... Like, even I was weirded out when I started up this game, and it was not inverted controls. It was yeah, normal, it was like, nor- controls. Normal ass controls. And I was... And that up weirded up, me down out. Down is down. Yeah, and I was like, thank God. Okay, <laughs> cool. I'm good. It's super simple. You know, you think of Flight Sim, you think of all these, like, bars and numbers and stuff, but this is very simplified. I think anybody yeah. could pick this up and play. Yeah. There's, like, story missions, I guess. Mm-hmm. It, it reminded me of, like, uh, I played, what was a game called? Star Wars Rebel Alliance on yeah, GameCube? Yeah, back in the day, yeah. Reminded me of that a lot. Yeah, it's definitely, like, the successor to that. The, there's one on GameCube called Rogue Squadron. That's, and that's the one yeah, I was talking that's about. The, yeah, that's the one I played a lot as a kid, and that yep. game's really good, and it's definitely like this, except now it's like... I, I Rogue Squadron is third person, right? Not first person, I'm uh, pretty sure. You could play in first person. You that's could do, I, okay. That's how I usually played. Gotcha. I think when yeah. I was a kid, I played third person, but no, it, it's definitely really cool, immersive. Uh, of course, if you're a Star Wars fan, you gotta try it. Yeah, it's... I'm, I'm not a huge Star Wars fan. I'm mm-hmm. actually... I wouldn't call myself a Star Wars fan at all, mm-hmm. but my favorite my favorite Star Wars media is these flight simulator games because mm-hmm. I think it is very cool, like flying inside of another ship, like you're in a ship and you're flying through like a larger ship. I always think that's fascinating and very yeah. fun. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, like so when you're fun. weaving out of the Death Star or like a Star Destroyer or something. Mm-hmm, which is technically another just giant ship. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. That's interesting. It, it, yeah, it's cool. Mm-hmm. I think it's cool. Well, cool. Well, there you go. Non-Star Wars fan liked it, so that's a, yeah. I feel like that's a high recommend. Yeah. Uh, right. Another thing this game does is uh, you can, like, divert power from your engines to your guns or, like, from your shields to your engines. And that's something, like, games don't normally do. Or, like, space yeah. games, I guess. Because you hear it all the time. Divert all powers to the engines. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this game lets you do that, and I think that's very cool. Yeah, I, I I totally agree. I think that's really neat. Adds to the immersion. So, yeah. which I'm all for. And that'll do it for this week, yeah. right? That, yeah, that was it. Three games. Um, pretty. Another, an, another good week on Game Pass. All right. Yeah. See you next week. See you next week.